so let us officially say goodbye to buying cheese because with the prices of cheese in nigeria market today you better wait to learn how to make this now so that you can utilize it hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl rachel if this is your first time seeing this face today we're going to be making cheese and not just any type of cheese we're going to be making mozzarella cheese ha! if you follow my instagram or you're on my whatsapp then you will know that i've been trying to achieve this cheese for a few months now and it turns out that i'm the problem actually because i have been skipping out on some of the ingredients or rather the milk itself has been the greatest challenge i've had and because you know in nigeria we don't have access to fresh milk as easily as other countries it was quite difficult but guess what guess what today i have fresh cow milk like freshly squeezed cow milk this is unadulterated like it's not processed at all and that is what we're going to be using to make this cheese today so stick around let me show you <laughs> at the end of the video i am going to be sharing with you where to get this milk and how you can buy them and source them and you will not believe how much it costs i'll also be sharing with you how much it cost me to make the cheese in total versus how much that same amount of cheese i will be making would get me anyways let's get to the kitchen let's go to the kitchen so i will show you for making cheese is making Mm. so guys this is our uh, four liters of milk they gave me this gallon and i don't even know okay i paid for it right but if you're going to go buy then you definitely need to carry your own gallon so i've never made this amount before so i need to like make a little bit of calculations on how many tablespoons of vinegar we're going to be using and i am just using this brand of vinegar lazis vinegar okay i think this is a good vinegar right so you need high quality vinegar to make this work if not you're going to be using citrus acid and something else well i couldn't find the second ingredient which was uh what's it called what's it called i can't remember right now but i got that one and i didn't get the other one i would mention it later on in the video when i check this is the pot i'll be using any pot you're going to be using make sure it is perfectly clean and i'm just going to take a dry rag and dry this pot out i had to rewash this pot just so that i make sure there are no oils or any of those so guys i have my scale here and i'm just going to measure out one gallon and approximately that is supposed to be i don't know if i should shake this milk I'm just going to pour my milk in. Whoosh! I don't know if I should taste this milk. I'm so tempted to taste it. Gosh, it's so thick. Oh, okay. You so, guys, this is currently one gallon of milk. I still have some left in the um, gallon. But, yeah, this is literally what it looks like. And now I'm going to transfer this to the stove top and heat it up. So guys, I just turned on my heat and the milk is quite cold because I got it like two hours ago. But I couldn't use it then because I was busy. And now I'm just gradually stirring this just so that it heats up evenly. Evenly, that's the goal. You do not want the down to get so hot before the top of the milk, okay? So I'm just going to keep stirring it like this until my finger can no longer touch we're going to be using a finger test since i do not have a thermometer but if you have a thermometer you want to heat this up till it's around 200 degrees fahrenheit that is about 90 celsius but i'm going to confirm with the um, right um, temperature and i would post it on the screen okay so i will come back when it's already hot enough so guys we're back and um, our milk is currently right so the finger test is just to stick your fingers in for oh shit that's hot so the finger test is just to stick your fingers in 
if you can hold it for three to five seconds then it's good if you can't then it's hot enough and right now i can't even hold it for five seconds up to so now we're just going to go in with one cup of vinegar you can use all white vinegar i do not know if you can use any other type of vinegar but now i'm just going to stir this gently while i pour in my vinegar so the milk i had was more than so guys if you can see the uh, milk is starting to cuddle already so now i'm just going to gently um wrap this while so now we're going to cover this to let it sit for two minutes right and i hope my vinegar actually touches everywhere none shall be left to waste by the way my heat is off already as you can see there's no fire and i'm just going to let this sit for two minutes so guys it's two minutes now and as you can see the cheese has cuddled and we're just going to drag it together i don't know if this mic is still on okay so the cheese this is the cheese now and that's what i'm dragging to the sides this is the cheese and i'm just going to get a sieve and then transfer this sieve to and transfer the cheese to okay whoosh gosh that is a lot of cheese Woo! oh this is a mess already but it worked that's cheese. Yeah. And it's dry now. It's dry. <laughs> nice. Oh. If you know how cheese has stressed my life in my lifespan time, you follow me and give testimonies. Every now, testimonies. Now we just want to squeeze out all this, um, all the water. Because you see, it still has some leftover water. I don't know why this cheese stuck to the bottom of my sea. I'm going to transfer this here. Oh, guys, look at that. Ah, ah, gay, gay, gay. So, guys, I see the way and everything poured. Like, it poured everywhere. Can't you see? See? A mess. But we don't have time for that we have to focus on this this is our cheese and this just literally we're just um squeezing this cheese to i don't know why it's removing that amount of milk i be mean, that way but yeah this is what we want to get we want to get it like you know everything nice everything fresh cheese guys but look at this can you see that cheese pool can you see this cheese pool oh my god i can't believe i made it i honestly cannot believe it actually worked out well guys and this is a lot of cheese don't get me wrong for the price this is a lot of cheese a lot of cheese and i just flavored the water by adding a little bit of salt and i'm just going to use that to knead this cheese so yeah this is literally what our cheese is looking like guys just look at this look at it look at it. So one gallon of milk gave me this much cheese and i will divide them into three i guess three should be good enough three should be okay right three so this is what my cheese is looking. I would make them pretty and come back, okay? So guys, this is our final product. So now I'm just going to um, put this in an ice bath here. 
okay so that it firms up and gets hard then we can store it i don't have ice block but if you have ice or an ice bag then you should do that all i have is this ice cold water and i'm just rinsing it in the water just so that you know it um, firms up because the hot water keeps melting the milk and reducing the cheese and i don't like that so yeah this our mozzarella cheese is ready ready for use you can refrigerate this overnight or you can use it as it is whichever way tag me if you're going to be trying this recipe and don't forget to wait till the very end because i'll be sharing with you how much this cost for now let me go prep this up wrap it up and then we'll talk <laughs> so guys i got this cheese from a fan at zuba if you're in abuja i would leave the number of the doctor below it at this point guys my mic stopped working but i'm going to leave all the information in the description box below of how much i got the, the cows are treated all. and it's a proper cow farm so yeah, i will link it down in the description box below and don't forget that if you enjoyed watching this video please 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 give me a big thumbs up also hit that subscribe button now hit the subscribe button so that you encourage me to keep shooting videos like this and also to help my channel grow okay and don't forget my name is rachel i know you don't see my face often but yeah i'm going to be showing more of me on this channel and so don't forget to subscribe like share and also comment below tell me what you would like to see me make next and i will get right to it so guys and subscribe to see more amazing contents that will be coming your way i have so much in store that i can't wait to share with you and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.